Hey guys, welcome to The Scent Lookout. This is where I share new and upcoming releases that I have my eyes on and that you guys should have on your radar. This week I'll be talking about two new scents that have recently hit the market. Stronger With You Only and C. Passion Eclat, both by Armani. Let's get started. First up is Stronger With You Only. So this fragrance was released this month, January 2022, and it looks to be a flanker, a part of the Stronger With You perfumes by the Emporio Armani line, which honestly, I have not tried any from that line, so I'm not really sure, but I believe it's from that whole Emporio Armani line. This fragrance is also marketed as for men, but we all know fragrance is completely unisex here. So this one has keynotes of grapefruit, lavender, geranium, vanilla, chestnut, and labdanum. So guys, for the notes, right off the back, I do like the notes. So the only lavender fragrance I'm really familiar with as of right now is the Lieb by YSL, and I love the way that one was done. So I'm sure mixed with the grapefruit, that would probably give off a pretty fresh feel, like out of the shower type of feel. Um, and it also seems like the fragrance can be a little sweet, a little spicy with the other notes that are involved. So that's something that I really love, especially being a fan of what I now feel like I'm a true fan of. It's like warm florals, warm spicy florals, some oriental fragrances, but warm spicy florals is really, really my thing. So for the bottle, the bottle resembles all the other bottles from this line. Um, I think they're clean, they're simple, not my favorite, so they don't scream and jump at me, but they're definitely alike. And for the price, I haven't found an exact price for this fragrance yet. However, it looks like these scents can be found for around $60 to $80 on some discounted sites. Um, I've seen a lot of them on discounted sites, some overseas. Um, but I haven't found the actual place to purchase them just yet here in the States. I'm not sure if it's just like really, really difficult to find here or if it's just because it's still in the process of launching. So for this fragrance, if I would buy or if I would try this fragrance as of right now, it's going to be a maybe for me. So obviously without having tried the fragrance yet, I like the idea of a fresh yet warm or spicy fragrance out of the shower feel, like I said, um, and that sounds like a nice spring type of summer uh, fragrance, especially because it is marketed to men. I feel like maybe it has a little bit more of that woody, maybe spicy feel to it. So it's going to be, you know, lean a little bit more masculine, which is fine. Um, but I like the fresh, warm, spicy fragrance, but still summery, springy type of vibe that it's giving me. So it's going to be a maybe for me. Like I said, it doesn't jump out out at me, but I do feel like it can be a really nice fragrance. And then lastly, we have C. Passion Eclat. So this fragrance was officially launched in January 22 and has notes of bergamot, blackcurrant, damask rose, Centifolia rose, musk, and vanilla. So for the notes, guys, I do have the original Sea Passion, and that one is very fruity, fresh. It has pineapple in there, but it has like an elegant feel as well. So this one sounds very similar to me. It's it's giving off a similar vibe. So um, lately, I have gotten more into rose as well. So I see that this has damask rose as well as centifolia rose. So it sounds very nice, pretty, has a creamy, refreshing feel to it. So it sounds perfect for spring and summer. Um, and for the bottle, it is the same as the original C. Passion bottle with the color red. Um, at least that's what I'm seeing. It looks almost completely the same. If not completely the same, it's very, very similar. So I do like these bottles. And then for the price, once again, I have not seen where you can actually purchase this one as of yet. So it's probably still in the process of launching. Once again, it is January 2022 and these fragrances have just been spoken about or just decided, you know, or they just came out with these fragrances. So it looks like they haven't officially hit the market where we can just buy them right away. But it looks like they'll probably range anywhere from, uh, it'll probably range anywhere from 72 $100 just like the original C's. So all of them are kind of in that $72 $100 
price point. And then for if I would get this fragrance, I would have to say, once again, this one is going to be a maybe for me. So this one's, um, it sounds like a beautiful fragrance. However, I feel like what kind of scares me about this fragrance is that I, like I said, I do have the original C. And in the beginning, I loved C Passion. I liked it a, better than the original when I smelled both of them in store. C Passion is the one that jumped out at me I it caught me but it's so weird because in the beginning I feel like I liked it a lot more than I like it now now it just seems like it's a little bit too fruity freshy for me and I've thought about maybe if that's because it's winter now or it's kind of colder but I've even smelled it after or you know kind of in the spring summertime but it did not jump out at me the way it did before so you know, I'm a little nervous about that, um, but I would try this one with the hopes that it's a lot more creamy and less and less fresh than the original. Um, so the other thing that I've really learned about myself is that I'm not a huge flanker girl. So, you know, the thing is with the flankers and why I kind of always veer towards the maybe side, honestly, is just because... I kind of like finding the best of a collection and I like to move on. Like I like to move on. If you have a new fragrance by that brand, awesome. But I don't typically like to get all the flankers of a fragrance. It just kind of becomes a little bit repetitive for me. It can get a little bit overwhelming when, you know, now there's a new flanker. Now there's a new flanker. Now there's a new flanker. I just tell me what the best are. I'll get one or two of them and then I want to move on from that line of fragrance. So that's just me. I don't know if anyone feels the same. Let me know. But that's just me. So please, guys, please remember to subscribe, like and share and be sure to hit that notification button just so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. I also want to encourage you guys to leave comments down below. Let me know which ones are your favorites, which ones you're interested in trying, or if you know where to get these fragrances or you know exactly when they're launching, um, please let me know down in the comments below. Give me your thoughts. I'd love to start a conversation down there and I will see you guys soon. Bye.